Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use date time picker with your Visual Basic Windows Form application in connection with your MySQL database. So first of all, let me grab uh, this date time picker from my toolbox. So I will drag and drop this date time picker in my toolbox, in my form, sorry. And by default, it shows the date in the format like this it shows the day current day and uh, the date and the month and if you make it bigger it will show the year also let me change the font size because it's not coming in my form so it shows the date like this so when I run the program, and I give my username and ID, and I can choose any date or or the year or the month like this. So just click here. You can choose the month, and you can choose the the year, and you can choose the particular date like this. Okay, and you can also customize this date according to your needs for example i don't want this format then i can custom customize this format of date so i will just select my date time picker once again and i will go to the properties and i will search for the property called custom format and in here whatever custom format you want to give you can give here so for example i want to give uh, the custom format uh, day then the month and then the year so I will write here in the property custom format DD minus capital MM for month minus YY for uh, double digit year or if you want four digit year then just write YYYY four times so this small d is for date this capital double M for month and this y is for the year and this minus in between these month and day you can give any character you want for example right now i'm giving minus sign you can give point here or you can give this slash here it depends upon you right and one thing to notice is when you just give this customize the format it will not show here B because you need to set one more property here called format and go in the format property and just select custom format so just try click this custom here and then your custom format you will be able to see here right so for example i have a database and this whole example I have been showing you in this uh, video series and now I want to add the date of birth of the employee uh, in the database so I have one more field here which is called DOB which is date of birth and I want to save date of birth of employee when I click this save button so this with the use of this date time picker I want to save the date of birth of the employee so let me take uh, one label also so that I can define that it's a date of birth so I will write DOB which because it's a date of birth and I can I want to set the date of birth with this date time picker but uh, specifically for MySQL, when you want to save the date in MySQL, it takes the date in the format first the year and then the month and then the date. Okay, so we need to customize our date according to y year and then month and then date. So once again, I will select my date time picker and I will go to the property, custom property, and I will set the property like this first I will give year yyyy minus I will give uh, the month which is capital M 
two times and then I will give the day which is DD okay so it takes the uh, date in this format what takes the date in this format mysql when you want to specifically date in mysql just give this format year month and date and this can vary okay and now it's set and done now i want to save the data in the database so in the video number six i have shown you how to save data in the database using this save button so if you don't know how to save data in the database just see the video number six and you will know so i will double click this uh, save button and in here i have shown in the video number six as i have mentioned that how you can uh, save the data in the database right so i'm going not going to repeat this code just watch that video and just write this code i'm going to just add it one line of query code here so just go to this code where you have defined your query and just write earlier the, this query was looking like this inter, insert into database dot e data which is my table name and i have these bracket here and i was saving employee id name surname age and gender which are the column names of my database and whatever I enter into the text boxes I was saving in the database now I want to add one more field here which is DOB which is date of birth so I will write here insert into database I will make it a little bit bigger so that you can see so just your new query will be insert into insert into the database dot e data and then just write EID comma name surname age gender and now I will add one more date of birth column which is DOB and just to mention here the data type of DOB here is so I want to show you the data type of this uh, column called DOB so you can see here I have defined in my MySQL database the data type of date of birth is date here okay so just remember that the data type of the date of birth or any date is date in mysql okay so our query is insert into data base dot e data eid name surname age gender and now one more column this which is dob and then bracket close and then write values and in the bracket you are giving all the values from the text boxes for employee id name surname age and gender and i will add at the last before this bracket one more item for saving the date of birth so i will just give comma and i will give single quote and double quote and in between this end sign and in here i will give the name of my date time picker which is let's see what is the name of our date time picker date time picker name is date time picker 1 you can just uh, let it like this or you can change it like your custom name so i named it as date time picker for dob date of birth right and i will copy it and i will paste it into the code here dot text okay so just write dot text here so our query looks like this insert into database dot e data your then in the bracket just write your column names which you, in which you want to save the data and then values and in the bracket just give the text box and at the last you need to add this here you need to add this piece of code okay so this is the name of your date time picker and this is dot text okay and now when i run the program and i'll give username and password and let's see how many employees i have in the database so i have till now 14 
employee IDs in my database so I will add employee ID 15 I will say 15 some name some surname and the age and he is a male and the date of birth we can choose like this so the date of birth can be 1990 for example right and he was born in February 30th for example okay and when I click the save button my date is saved with all these data and when I see in this um, database when I refresh my database there is one more entry which is employee ID 15 and you can see here the date of birth which is a new field is added here okay so you can do it once again employee ID 16 date of birth you can change for example 1989 July 13 and I will save it and when I refresh my database you can see a new entry with my with the employees date of birth so in this way you can use date time pickup with your MySQL database and Visual Basic Windows form application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.